Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with Weld Features Groove. So we will create the Groove Welds. Prepare the assembly and after you can jump directly by application to welding. In the last tutorials you have seen how to work with weld material or processes so you can specify your custom weld material or process. Today we are focusing on the groove weld. You can see that you can select a couple of kinds of grooves and I will select the V groove. If I select the location, you can see that you can specify the selection for the change or the surface. So I will select the first one and we will select the first chain. Then it's possible to select the second side and the system automatically visualizes the selected weld. You know that it is necessary or possible to define the shape, so please specify necessary values. And in the option you can choose, for example, if you would like to set up the weld geometry, surface, light, solid, or specify weld time, weld materials and weld process, or for example for contour. Yeah? specify your custom values and confirm OK. You can see the system automatically creates correct weld and if you need to move with the annotation best practice is if you select the annotate tab and in drop down menu is possible to select annotation. The system allows to you directly select the annotate and you can use the functionality move. So really easy to move. Yeah, so you can choose the filter again back and go back to the welding. I would like to show you that you can modify the existing features in Creo. So same as the feature, for example, extrude or revolve, you can select the existing weld and by edit definition, the system allows to jump to the necessary groove weld tab. I'd like to see and create not only one side, but both side weld. Yeah, because you can see here that I can select the opposite information. Yeah, so what does it mean? You can select that you would like to, I will jump to location and you will see what the system will do. If I will select define two side weld, the system automatically allow to me to select the other side or second side. And again, I will select the left side and opposite side. And right now you can see that system allowed to me to create necessary and finished weld. And if I will come from OK, the system will recreate the necessary annotation. We would like to continue. So you can jump to other side and continue as the V groove. And again, if you will make some misclick, no problem, you can change your mind directly over here. Right now we know that we would like to make the both side and quickly we can select the first side and second side. It's a always selection or you can use the selection from the location tab. Yeah. Or for example, I will select the other side and I would like to show you how the system can jump from side one to side two. So I will select first side and right mouse button you can see the system allow to me to select the another side. So it is not necessary always jump to location tab and select references. Many many times you can find the information in right mouse button. Uh, for example over here you can see that right now the system would like to add material here. Now we would like to go inside and you can check the previous weld really easy. Come from OK and again you can see that system show me necessary annotation. OK, the second weld is ready and we would like to continue with the J groove. Yeah, and I would like to show you again what is the preferences. So for side one you can see that is the preferences that we need to select the chain and for side two you can choose if it is surface or 
chain. So step by step, side one, you would like to create it here, perfect. And side two will be defined as surface and selection is that surface. But you can see here right now that maybe this weld type is not so good because we would like to trim the welds on the surface. So, and the definition is defined on this edge. So you can jump to side one and now the system allows to you to manipulate with this point. You can manipulate manually with the numbers or you can select right mouse button and extend to or trim at. So I would like to use trim at surface and I will select surface and opposite side will be same. So select trim at and trim at surface. Again, same as for always, you can specify it the necessary shape, dimensions and offset options and contour type, well material, web process, geometry type and so on and so on. So directly if I go confirm, you can see it is possible again, really easy manipulate with the annotation. You can go back to welding and see everything. In this video tutorial you have seen how it's possible to create groove weld, how to manipulate, how to edit and modify. Stay tuned. Bye bye. Vladimir.